for a movie called The Secret. This um, this trailer or movie was produced after a book called The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. And this is just to show you how long The Secret has been around. The sound is a, a, a knob there that you turn. Oh, it's down there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> successful and happy lifestyle was attainable by the discovery of a life-changing secret. It's not, any, it's not just any ordinary gossip-filled secret. It is the secret to your greatest accomplishments. It is that juicy secret is a universal law of attraction. Today I'm going to discuss this secret with you. The law of attraction is the principle that we attract. We attract whatever our thoughts manifest. The law of attraction, sorry. <laughs> Esther Hicks, law of attraction expert and inspirational speaker, states that as you perceive something, you give birth to a thought, and this thought now thinks. Now that it exists, now that it has been focused, now that it vibrates, now by law of attraction, other thoughts that are vibrationally the same will come to it. So it begins its expansion immediately. <coughs> Essentially, the law of attraction advocates the power of our own thoughts towards the outcome of our daily actions and reactions. The law of attraction evokes the most powerful tool we have is our mind. Who we are and what we are entitled to have is a result of our unfocused thoughts, whether we realize it or not. The law of attraction has become a popular subject in the past several years. However, it has been around for decades. The law of attraction is framed around basic principles and well-known and the well-known book, The Secret, by Rhonda Barn. The secret exemplifies the law of attraction, utilized efficiently, and the success it brings forth. Let's begin by finding out where the secret started from by taking a look at the origin of the law of attraction. The movie The Secret in the recent years is what has caused this worldwide interest in the law of attraction. <coughs> Although the law of attraction goes back to the earliest of times, it goes back to the creation of the world to the very first thought ever thought. The concept of the law of attraction can be tied to many religious beliefs, one of them including Buddhism. Mahatma Gandhi supported the logic of law. This is a quote by him. Whether humanity will consciously follow, follow the law of love, I do not know. But, this, but that need not disturb me. The law will work just as the law of gravitation works, whether we accept it or not. Hinduism cultivates one of the main principles of the law of attraction. The belief, their belief on karma is that what, whatever one sends out to the world, one receives right back. For example, if you give out negative energy to the world, you will receive negative outcomes. If you give out positive energy to the world, you shall receive positive outcomes. Another example of religion that holds the belief, that belief can be found in the Bible, in Galatians 5, 6. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. All practically highlighting the point of whatever type of benevolence or coolness you put 
out to the universe will in some way show the same actions towards you. Although the ideology of the law of attraction has been implemented since earlier times, it wasn't until 1877 when the actual term law of attraction was first used in the esoteric mysteries. As society started to become more inclined to the optimistic perspective of life, the law of attraction became more well known due to an increase in the amount of people that realized our thoughts were one of the most powerful things we individually possess. Also using William Walker Atkinson's 1906 book entitled Thought Vibration or the Law of Attraction in the Thought World, Atkinson's principle discussed in the book is simply summarized as, you are what you think, not what you think, of, not what you think you are. The most popular recognition for most people for the Law of Attra Attraction was released in the year 2000 in the film The Secret. It came out, the book, sorry. The film came out sub subsequently followed by the book. The book identifies thoroughly the basic principles of the Law of Attraction. And now that we are familiar with what the Law of Attraction, where the Law of Attraction originated, we can focus our thoughts on the basic principles of law. There are five basic principles. The universal Law of Attraction holds a central meaning that the outcome of who we are or what we are or what our lives become is ultimately up to us. It is, up to, it is to our own thoughts and attitudes that manifest, the manifestation of our dominant thoughts happens whether one accepts the law of attraction or not. Whether these, those thoughts are positive or negative, that is what we attract upon ourselves. To narrow it down a bit, we can focus on the five basic principles of the law of attraction. According to the career success coach, the following are the five basic principles of the law of attraction. The first one being, I have mentioned already, likes attract likes. Secondly, the importance of feeling good. The third principle is changing your mood. Fourth is clearly identifying what you want and don't want. Imagining what it would feel like to have those things that you want and let the universe give you which, that which you want. The last principle is one of the most important. If you have any doubt in the law of attraction and the universe will bring you what you want, it won't. Why focus on things we don't want? For example, someone thinks, I don't want to fail this test. The mind just understands the focus of failure. So instead, once you think, I will pass this test, there is no point in focusing on what one doesn't want. It throws off the purpose and this, make, and this mistake. This is the mistake many make. On the contrary, our focus is aimed at what we want and only want. To visualize that what we want is more effective than to waste our thoughts on what we don't want. To focus is to concentrate attention or energy. Attention is psychic energy. Psychic energy is living and consciousness. Whatever you give psychic energy to, you're giving it mental life to exist. That is why the more you place your mind on something, the more it lives. The less you do, the less power it has to remain alive. When you do not pay attention to something, it ceases to exist over time. Those principles can, further, can be further explored in the best-selling book by Rhonda Barn, the author of The Secret. After the movie came out in 2000, Rhonda Barn published her book in 2006. It became a huge hit. It was a follow-up follow in the film I mentioned earlier. The self-help book defines the principle of the law of attraction and promotes the importance of positive thinking. Jennifer Kunkin states in the review of the book that the author's arguments are undoubtedly correct. Barn includes supporting thoughts of the law of attraction from several well-known people, including celebrities, doctors, and experts. Throughout the book, they, are all speak, they all speak in, in agreement that the basic principles that I exposed previously. The crucial purpose of the book is to educate the reader of how to learn or focus, how to learn to focus our thoughts to what we want in order to satisfy the desires we all individually possess. Dr. Joe Vitale quotes in the book, you want to become aware of your thoughts, you want to choose your thoughts carefully, and you want to have fun with this because you are the masterpiece of your own life. You are the Michelangelo of your own life, and the David you are sculpting is you. And you do with it, and you do with it your thoughts. The book reveals more in depth how to apply the law of attraction to all areas in your life, including memory, relationships, and health. It also applies in a broader perspective of life, our world, and the development of our of a person's character. The law of attraction encourages that our destiny is at our control to do with it as we please. To that if one seeks happiness, health, and wealth, it is at our fingertips. We can, we can all have the life we dream of if it doesn't 
It doesn't simply have to be a dream. It can become a part of reality. We are in control of our lives. We decide what we attract unknowingly or not. So why not focus on uh, focus our positive and powerful thoughts on positive things we want to attract and abandon the thoughts on what we don't have? Put all our mind focus on what we want and we shall receive. This is a secret by far the best to spread. Go ahead and tell all your friends. Kayla, quickly. Um, I think that some strong points where I like—I really was interested in the topic because personally, um, I've read that book, and so I think it's a really good topic to be able to um, introduce to the class if they haven't already read it. Uh, I enjoyed the part where he explained the five basic principles factor. Um, a couple improvements that he could have made was that the video took like two minutes, and. Um, he went over on his time, so he could have really utilized the two minutes on maybe speaking and showing the video. Also, this is like a little picky, but like when he was quoting the Bible, he like, and I think he called it Galatians, but I think Galatians. Yeah, sorry, just, okay. just, no, 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 I'm not understanding. No, I'm not. Um, uh, yeah, so he had a lot of citations, so that was really good, and he had some evidence. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much all. All right. Well, I'm going to agree with you about the attention device. It goes on too long. It's two minutes of video. You're not talking. Basically, you you know, it, it's like we're waiting for the speech to start, and we're getting this other thing, uh, setting it up, and it doesn't. I think it makes it maybe a little bit interesting, but it doesn't really help me understand what's going on or why it's important. It just it's like I'm getting hype, 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 hype here, uh, and uh, I'm waiting for the big secret. I think you need to be a little bit clearer, you need to be sharper and get to the point faster. Um, the five laws of attraction that you uh, talk about, those would have been much more practical to have as a visual. It would make it easier for me to remember them and uh, uh, follow them. As it is, a lot of this sounds highly abstract and it's a little complicated to follow in a speech because uh, the illustrations that you provide are sometimes a little cryptic. The quotes that you have, they seem a little bit conclusionary and, and perfect for the situation without really giving us a very clear explanation or a description for what's going on. In other words, the, it, it, it makes your point, but it's kind of a self-fulfilling uh, quote as opposed to something that the audience is going to be able to make sense of. So, I, like I said, I had a problem with the visual. Um, I think you missed some opportunities there. Uh, the material still remains fairly generic. And I would like to see practical examples and illustrations. I'd like to see maybe applications to everyday experiences as a way of making this point work. And then maybe some other material, because it sounds like all of the people that you're quoting are adherents of this particular point of view, um, you know, with maybe the one or two exceptions of the historical figures that you cite. All of the presentation is read, and that really seems to suggest that you're not quite familiar enough with the material to talk about it on your own and Galatians of course there's a there's a pretty valid point there okay thank you all very much for your patience those of you who did the written evaluation